Hey guys, welcome to Teal House Farm. It is getting late, but we are finally home from a busy day in town and it's beginning of the month. So we stocked up on our groceries and we're doing something different this month. So Sam is now done with school. He started his new job and we've decided that we really want to try to cut, see if we can cut down our grocery budget even farther, which sounds the opposite of what you expect, right? He's got a, he's out of school and he's finally like working a job that's paying pretty well but we really want to pay down as much of his student loans as possible before I have this baby. Some of the loans have some pretty disgustingly high interest rates on them and they're small loans because we tried to pay as we went, but especially at the very end when inflation was getting really high that last semester of school, we just could not afford and we were not gonna get six weeks from graduation or whatever and not be able to pay for that last term. So we're trying to squeeze every penny we can out of his paychecks to put them towards the loan. And we're trying to cut down our grocery budget to make that happen. And I, and I think it's totally doable. It's just more work on my part, right? And it's also a little bit of a sacrifice. We're not gonna have all of our favorite things, but it's gonna be fine. So at the end of this video, I will show you, I made out um, grocery plans for um, this month, basically, except for the last, um, like four or five days, which I'm planning to just be like clean out the fridge days. So I tried to shop for the whole month basically today. So our grocery budget is usually $900 a month. This month we are aiming to be under 500. I spent um, $223 at Sam's Club and I spent $140 at Aldi. I believe that's $373. So I have about $125 left in the grocery budget. And I'm going to use that halfway through the month to get more milk and fresh fruit. So I think this is really doable, but everything that is not going to expire by the end, that can be bought a month in advance, like it won't expire. And our menu plans has been purchased. We're also gonna be eating a lot of out, of out of our pantry, but I'll put pictures of the weekly menu plan. I planned breakfast, lunch, and dinner, three meals a day. So every single thing we're going to eat has been planned for us. So we aren't buying anything extra and we're making sure to buy cheaper foods. So I will say if you're new here, you'll notice that you don't see a lot of meat on the table because we raise our own uh, meat sheep that have recently been butchered. So our freezer is really full and you won't see um, a lot of um, vegetables on the table because we have a, gar a large garden and a greenhouse. I do tons of canning. So all this stuff is already in the pantry and that does help us really keep our budget low. I will also say our grocery budget is separate from our household budget. The household budget is $100 a month. The majority of that goes to dog food and disposable razors for Sam since he shaves his head. And uh, the rest of that goes to toilet paper, which we use family cloth. So it cuts our toilet paper usage in about half. We let family members decide what they're more comfortable using and um, like baby wipes and baby diapers for when we are um, out of the house for a long time and we don't use the cloth diapers. So I do buy a few diapers. So we spent uh, $13 of that budget today and I'll show you what we got. So still plenty of that household budget, but like I said, most of that's gonna be when it's time to buy our dog a new bag of dog food because that stuff is expensive. So anyway, enough of me jabbering. Let me show you what I bought. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'll show you the whole meal plan too. You get an idea how we uh, use all this, but I'll try to talk you through that. Let's start with the fresh fruit and vegetables that we did purchase. So we always get some strawberries and these will be gone in like a day because my kids love strawberries. I got two packs of mandarin oranges. Uh, unfortunately, they burst. And all of this fruit and veg is from Aldi. I find the fruit and veg at Sam's Club is really expensive. And lately I've been having good luck with Aldi fruit not rotting on me really fast. So I am giving them a hearty thumbs up lately that has not been true for me in the previous years but I feel like in the last couple of months I don't know if something's changed but their fruit is lasting a lot longer. Uh, three cucumbers which will be sliced up for sides for lunches as, as well as two bags of baby carrots. The kids have suddenly decided that they really like plums which are a little bit more expensive but I got one bag and I'll just leave those on the counter for snacking. Um, I got three bunches of bananas. I purposely buy green bananas so they last longer. And I think that's all the fruit and veg. This will all be gone in a little over a week, but we have, a, like I said, a lot of canned fruit and veg from our garden or like things like broccoli that you can't can is frozen. So 
we'll eat through the fresh stuff and then we'll start open up opening up our jars and our freezer pantry and then halfway through the month we'll use that last 125 to go back for more fresh stuff got several boxes of mac and cheese just the just the quick mac and cheese for dinner sides or lunches uh, some coffee creamer for me and Sam. And bacon was not on the menu plan, but they had a really good price at Aldi. I think this was $2.50 a pack. I think it's pretty close to your expiration date. I'm just going to throw it in the freezer. It's not on the menu plan for this month, but I'm going to put it in the freezer, put, put it ahead to next month because Sam loves bacon. And usually we don't buy it because it's usually very expensive. We have um, baking, just some baking supplies since I cook a lot of our own bread and all of our own desserts and things like that. So just some sugar, some more flour. I got plenty of bread flour. Sorry, my... There we go. Oh, that's better. And then we need to make a dessert for church tomorrow night. And so Micah wants to make it. So we just got um, double boxes of fudge brownies. Something will be real easy for her to make. And some more real cheap pancake syrup. I used to be a food purist. If you've been here a long time, we used to follow a whole foods diet. Cannot afford it anymore. Cannot afford to buy real maple syrup when it's half this size and costs five times as much. So for right now, we've had to let that go. But hopefully with Sam's new job and once we get these student loans paid down, we can start going back to some of those things that we would prefer to provide for our family. But for right now, we just make do and make sure bellies are full in a somewhat rounded diet. My biggest expense that I didn't want to cut when we were cutting the budget was to keep individual chip bags. Two reasons. One, the kids make a huge mess with the big chip bags just all over the pantry, which causes mice and bug problems. So this prevents that. And also the kids all have their own favorites and somebody would be really disappointed. So it's just easier to get the individual bags. They are much more affordable at Sam's Club than they are at Walmart. And so I buy them there. But once these 80 bags are gone, they're gone, but these should last us. I mean, they typically last us to the end of the month because we don't eat chips every day. So this should last us a long time. And then we have the snack and treat basket. The kids get a snack time between lunch and dinner and they get to pick something from the basket. And sometimes there's healthy stuff in there. And it's also mixed in is really yummy stuff. And as you can guess, the yummy stuff goes really fast. And then by the end of the month, everybody's turning up their nose, noses at little boxes of raisins, but when you're hungry, you eat them anyway, right? So there's some yummies and some healthies. So got some little brownie treats. Got some uh, two different flavors of these fruit strips. I like these because they don't have any artificial colors. They don't have a ton of added sugar. And Pat loves these. And they aren't a choking hazard like the little gummies can be for little guys. Mini muffins. Some chocolate dipped granola bars. Those always go super fast, actually. And I think Sam is partially to blame because I think he always steals them for a work snack. Just some graham crackers. A couple of the kids just really like graham crackers. These are for Ivy. These are her favorite. She actually likes to take these. She hides them in the freezer so the other kids don't know we have them so that she can always get them for snack. Um, some little donuts. More muffins. This one was bought. I told the kids, I made the mistake of telling the kids at Sam's Club that they could pick something for dessert tonight. Not thinking before I said that, before we got out of the van, that everything at Sam's Club is going to be a 40 pack or a 100 pack. So we settled on these little cookies and the leftovers would just go in the snack basket. We normally don't buy anything like this, but usually we're not at Sam's Club when I'm telling them they can pick out something for dessert. Usually we're at Walmart and we'll just get a single little thing of cookies, which you can't do it at Sam's Club. You always got to get the big box. So that was my whoopsie, but that'll make them extra happy. A couple things of applesauce uh, pouches. Some of these have veggies mixed in, which I like. And I also like that, again, no added colors, no added sugar. Pretty straightforward, just nice and simple for the little guys. And it keeps them from making a mess with applesauce. String cheese. And I also always keep hard-boiled eggs. Kids love hard-boiled eggs. I keep those in the fridge as well. I didn't need to buy any eggs this time. Our chickens are laying, our ducks are laying. And so right now I'm, I got plenty of eggs, but in the winter we'll need to buy more eggs. Smart food popcorn is also a favorite, so that'll be available for snacks. Kids love that. And then we do have some just traditional gummy snacks. And that's it. That's That'll last, that's a month's worth of snacks. And I know that looks like an incredible amount of snacks, but with six kids and everybody gets a snack every day, 
it actually goes pretty darn fast. So, but that's what's available. As far as the household supplies went, just got uh, some baby wipes and some toilet paper. We do use cloth wipes when we use cloth diapers, but I always keep disposable wipes in the diaper bag for church and outings and things like that. Uh, Sam asked for some ramen. Uh, he, he likes ramen when he gets off a real long shift and he doesn't want to have to uh, make dinner because I'm not always home depending on what which shift he's working. I may not be home when he gets home. He also may be eating dinner at eight o'clock in the morning. And so he likes, he likes something that's real fast like ramen. So I got that for him. Whole bunch of yogurt cups. And come back to that stuff in just a minute. And then we have a couple freezer things. There's two nights a week I don't cook. So the other days a week I cook every meal. So out of the 21 meals that there are in a week, I cook 19 of them from scratch or close to scratch. But Sunday nights I do not cook. And then one night during the week when the girls have activities and we have like homeschool co-op, they get to go to McDonald's and get chicken nuggets. So on Sunday nights, I always do frozen pizzas. So it, I've stacked up on those. This will last us several weeks. And we do a frozen pizza and we do some sort of frozen veggie, like usually broccoli and or some salad from the greenhouse. And that's dinner. I don't cook on Sunday nights. And so the one night everyone always knows what's for dinner is Sunday nights. You don't even have to ask because it's always frozen pizza. And then I got some of these cheeseburgers. These will be used for lunches and the kids each get half. So even though there's only 10 in the box, it actually makes 20 burgers for us because the kids are all still pretty little. So that'll be several lunches over the month. And then also got the giant bag of chicken nuggets, which will go for several lunches as well. Also for lunches, we like to do our own kind of Lunchables, which is just some crackers and some just sliced cheese and some pepperoni. The kids really like that. That's also really easy to pack in lunch boxes. So we stocked up on that a bit. I got some more lunch meat. I actually wasn't planning on buying lunch meat, but it was half off at Sam's Club. I have to look. It may be really close to the expiration date, but either way, I'm going to separate this into three packs and freeze it until we need lunch meat. Because usually lunch meat lately, it's been like $8 a pound. And so this was, this was only $6, which is really good price for right now. So I grabbed it. Got some hot dogs also for lunches. I always buy butter, even if I don't need it. And I just stick it in the freezer. Just keeping butter well stocked, especially as we get closer to the holidays. You'll thank yourself later when people start jacking up the prices. I got two bags of tortillas. We use those for wraps. We use them for quesadillas, for tacos. I freeze one bag, leave the other one out, and then halfway through the month, the frozen bag will come out to the bread box. And then I got this trail mix, and we just leave this on the counter. And I also have a big box of pretzels that's also always on the counter. So if somebody is hungry and it's not breakfast, lunch, dinner time, and it's not snack time, they can always grab a handful of trail mix or a handful of pretzels or a plum or a fruit that's in the basket. Those are always available. We don't lock up all the food from the kids, but we have set meal times and we have a set snack time. And if you want to eat outside of those times, you have to pick one of those real simple options. Otherwise, people would be eating through that snack basket in like a week and we would have no food left. And then after I had done all that shopping, I realized I was still really below budget and I thought well I could be just just call it good or I could get special a couple special treats and so what I decided to do was to let the kids pick something out that we normally wouldn't get because it's expensive. I also asked Sam if he wanted anything and then I got something for myself so I'll show you these special things that we splurged on. Uh, he wanted some Diet Coke and right now soda cans are just they're like it's like ten dollars a box for some reason but so I got him some Diet Coke. That'll make him happy. I got me some K-Cups of flavored coffee. Um, we have reusable K-Cups um, that, that we use in our little uh, one-pot coffee machine. But these were on sale, and the flavor sounded really good. And I was like, oh, I'll get those. It'll be my special treat. The kids love these, and these are not cheap. These come out to like $1.25 a little container, and there's not much food in there. But, you know let them pick something and then they wanted juice boxes 
I never buy juice boxes because with this many kids, it produces a lot of trash and it's a waste of money. But when I told them they could pick something special, they specifically asked for those and those. And if you can get all six kids to agree on two things, I think, you know, it's like a win-win. So we went ahead and splurged on those. And I'm sorry I'm huffing and puffing, but <laughs> I pulled all this in the house, set it up. It's been in the car because it takes us an hour to drive home and I want to get it in the freezer. So I'm trying to like talk fast and I'm super pregnant and I'm tired. So I'm kind of huffing through this. But even with those splurge purchases, still have a dollar, 125 left for the month for food. And uh, like we've actually have plenty of milk right now. I overbought milk last month. The kids go through phases where like, Suddenly nobody wants milk with breakfast and then I have to throw jugs of milk in the freezer or we're going to drink a whole gallon at breakfast today. And I also have lots of bread in the freezer because a couple months ago, Walmart's bakery had a bunch of breads that were marked down to like 50 cents for a big loaf because they were like one day past their best by date. And I just stocked up and shoved them in the freezer. So I shouldn't need to buy any bread this month. I won't need to buy milk for a while, probably halfway through the month. So... This fills out the meal plan. We'll go back for probably a little bit of milk and a lot more fresh fruit halfway through the month. And hopefully, I think, I feel pretty optimistic that we will make it through the month um, staying under or right at $500. And we are a family of eight, so I feel like that's really good. If you want to see the meal plan, I'm going to show it right now. And thanks so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time.